So today I'm going to edit some vocals with Revoice Pro. Um, I've got an instance of Revoice Pro 4 open here and it's completely empty and I'm using Logic. And what I'm going to do is move a lead vocal into Revoice Pro and put it on Audio 1. And then I've got these two harmonies. One's uh, just a normal harmony, the other one's falsetto. And I'm going to show them and play them to you right now. I think they're pretty good, but... Um, they are going to benefit from a bit of tightening. Let our eyes be hypnotized, distracted by the broken lines that lead us on and on and on and on. Okay, so I've got to get these into revoice, um, which is pretty simple in Logic. You just get a uh, control click, control right click on Logic. And then go to processing, selection based processing. Um, in here, I'm going to go to audio units and then Synchro Arts Revoice Pro Link Mono. Right, and what that's going to do is it's going to give me this little window where I can click on a region here and then I can select which audio track in a Re Revoice Pro I want it to go to. So let's take the lead, put it in audio one, hit apply. Bosch, there you go. So now we're going to click on the hypnotize harmony here. I'm going to select audio two, so it's going to go to here. Hit apply. And the same with the falsetto harmony, I'm going to put onto audio three. Apply. So now I'm going to close that. I've got Revoice Pro here. I find that I need to label the uh, tracks in Revoice, otherwise I get quite confused. So this is the lead. Um, this is the harmony. And this is the falsetto. And what I want to do is I want to put an algorithm on here that is going to tighten up all the timing of my harmonies, which is super simple to do. I go right click here to add a process, new APT, and I'm going to uh, here presets, factory presets, and I'm going to go tight timing only. Because all I want to do, I'm happy with the tuning for now. I just want these to be really, really tight and to make some doubles. So what I'm going to do is the harmony and the falsetto are going to follow the lead vocal. So that's going to be my master and all the timing is going to be set to the lead. So even though it might not be quantized and on the grid, it is really tight as a unit together. So I go to the input, the lead, that's my master. The dub that I'm going to do is the harmony. It's going to output automatically, hit new process. So boom, there we go. I've got my harm out and now that is going to be the timed harmony. So I'm going to label this harmony timed. Right, now I'm going to do the exact same thing with a falsetto. So I right click, new APT, tight timing only. It's doing the same one as it did before, but we don't want the dub to be the harm this time. We want it to be the falsetto. So hit new process. There we go, now I've got my falsetto out. This is now my falsetto timed. Now at this point I could drag them back into Logic and have my three tracks as they were sounding great uh, and really tight. But because I'm here in Revoice and it's so quick, I basically got a harmony here as you know and a falsetto and I personally like harmonies to be a left and right harmony so there's a double so it makes it really wide so if you've got a chorus or something you can really open it. Out and of course, so I want to make the falsetto double and the harmony double. So I want to base that off the harmonies that I've timed already. So if I go here and do a new double, I right click and instead of new APT, I do new doubler. It's going to give me the same window again with presets. Now I'm going to do a recent preset, which is mono vocal mild, which is going to give me a really great double that's not going to be like you've just copied and pasted the vocal and phasey or anything like that. It's just going to give you a really solid double. Here we go. So do that. Harmony timed. That's my master for this and automatic output. Okay. There we go. Harmony timed. Now I'm going to rename that harmony double. And then I know what that is. And we're going to do the exact same for the falsetto timed, new doubler. Here we go, falsetto timed is the lead, we're making a double of that, but we want the output to be automatic. 
Right, now I've got my doubles here. Let's just rename this guy falsetto double. So I came in with the lead, the harmony, the falsetto, which is that one, that one, and that one. I've now got a timed harmony to the lead, a falsetto time to the lead, a really nice double of the harmony and a double of the falsetto. So let's get these back into logic and see what they sound like. So the way I do this is in Revoice Pro, I'm going to start with the ones that I'm replacing, which is harmony timed. And what you do here is you hit uh, option and shift on the track. And you see a little thing and you can just drag it straight onto the track. I like to put it next to it rather than delete these yet. I just want to get them in at the moment. So same on this one, click the track, get that over right now to get these where they were. I delete the originals or you can save them in another track if you want and hide the track or however you work but I like to just delete them and commit to them and to get these in the exact right place instead of sort of trying to line them up and zoom in and all of that there's a really great way in logic where you can just right click and go to move and go to move to record a position and it's going to put it exactly where it should be which is awesome um, move to record a position there you go. So we got those two in there, and now let's get the doubles in. So same, go back, back to Revoice Pro. We're going to option click on this, and I'm going to drag it in. New track, doesn't really matter where you drag it in. We're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the others. Put this in. Right, now we've got them on new tracks. Hit the move to record a position. You can either go to your latest um, edit move, or you can go to move, move to record a position, whichever works for you. Um, Logic's pretty cool that way. Um, same on this, right click, move to record a position. So now we've got these doubles. Um, so let's just check these out. This is what the timed harmonize and falsetto sound like to the lead as they did before, but now they are all locked in time, which is cool. So check this out. Let our eyes be hypnotized, distracted by the broken lines that lead us on. And on, and on, and on Let our eyes be hypnotized Distracted by the broken lines That lead us on, and on, and on That sounds great to me, and the reason I really like the sound of it is it just sounds natural to the point that you don't notice it. It just feels, feels right, feels complete. Um, so now let's get these doubles going. Um, so I'll rename these. So this is like hypnotize double, and then this is falsetto double. Get those named. And I'm going to put this one up here, and I'm going to keep this one, these two together. Falsetto and nice spelling. So with doubles, I like to pan them left and right. So let's check this out. Left and right, these two. And now let's just solo these and have a listen. Let our eyes be hypnotized, distracted by the broken lines that lead us on and on and on. Great, and that's literally done in, what, under two minutes? Um, and the amount of time it would take me normally before revoice to, like, line up all the vocals in flex pitch or flex time, whatever you're working in, to get all these harmonies locked together, let alone being able to create doubles, which I couldn't, I'd just be depending on getting the singer to sing more and more. This way, I really like being able to capture singers' performances and not have to get them to do that many tracks if they're not sort of that kind of singer. Some singers love doing millions and millions of tracks and some don't, some want to do like three takes and try and keep it all about the performance and keep it simple, which I really like actually. Um, so for me, being able to add this is absolutely brilliant and hugely time saving. So all in, this is what it sounds like now. Let our eyes be hypnotized, distracted by the broken lines that lead us on and on. Distracted by the broken lines that lead us on and on and on and on. Cool. 
Cool, so um, I hope that's helpful. It's um, just a simple way to get your vocals sounding really naturally great. Um, keep well. Cheers, bye.